We arrived to Belize with the thought of spending a few weeks here before heading to Mexico. That was before Covid. We saw it coming and made a decision to stay in Belize and did not regret it. The borders are still closed due to Covid. We've been trying to get a permission to enter Guatemala for a couple of months because the hurricane season is approaching fast and we would like to sail down to Guatemala to leave the boat there safely. In this episode, we will try to check out from one closed country into another closed country, start to prep the boat for haul out, sail to Ranguana, get coconut water yeah. and catch sea turtles lay eggs. Today has been actually six months since uh, we came to Belize, uh, where we were supposed to be only one month. And I obviously got stuck here. And the last day in, I finally got a uh, response from Guatemala, getting an approval to go to Guatemala. Uh, never so kind to make an exception, so we have the go ahead. To go there uh, it's gonna be quite quite tricky because you know the borders are being patrolled with policemen with guns and I don't really have a paper so I will see what what's gonna happen also my uh, Belizean visa expires today and the high tide is in four days um, the situations kind of tricky um, I don't know if you know we'll make it I don't know if we're gonna be accepted if we're not accepted I don't know if Belize will take us back um, it this this can take this can take a, a turn sideways very quickly so uh, I'm just hoping for the best So this is the updated situation. I got the list. I didn't get the Zarpe because the port captain is not here. And the port captain doesn't want to do it because the immigration may not give it to me. Uh, either way, I have to come tomorrow. We came back and there are two hummingbirds. Whoa. Oh, look, look. What? I'm scared. What? Open the hatch for them. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> He's confused, seriously. Oh, well done. We have to clean everything, we have to wash all the stuff that's gonna go away in the in the vacuum bags uh, and now we are in a marina where, let's let's face it, we can wash things for free so we're trying to do it before we leave because then we have to pay for washing so yeah, all these little things count, right? So and many flies! And defreezing the freezer and cleaning well, everything at the same time. That's insane. This has not happened before. So it's Saturday and uh, it's the third day I have to go to the immigration. So I'm just walking out of the immigration office with my stamps. Woohoo! Now I have to go to Port Authority and Customs. Hopefully the uh, port authority is gonna be open with somebody in there, custom somebody in there, and that's it. Hello. Hello. What do you think? Did, did you get it? Yes. Yes, we got it. <laughs> I didn't want to scream a whole time, but yay! <laughs> Amazing. I know. You're the best. Gabika cleaned the boat. It only took 30 minutes and 3 months. <sighs> Don't mind the flies, they're everywhere. Today, 
for some reason this actually this whole week our water supply it's the fan I was running another room that's where we keep our linens and other things that we don't use in permanent uh, bags small bathroom Our fruits fishing rod and the master bedroom The bathroom. This should be our last departure from uh, Tranquilo. Everything is looking good. Engine runs. Depth is there. Gabika is smiling. Life is good. <laughs> She's saying she's enjoying it. So we just took off from Placencia for the last time. We're super excited. Now the endorphins are being released and we're, we're kind of like winding down, right? Yeah. Um, and now we're just gonna enjoy the last few days in Belize. We're gonna go to Ranguana. In a few days, we are actually going to be without a country. Uh, we've checked out of Belize, or we're checking out, we checked out of Belize, effective tomorrow. And we're not going to so check into Guatemala we'll be, for another yeah, few days. In no country for a few days. I already looked into it. Uh, Mexico, the uh, Isla Mujeres is open uh, to borders. So mm -hmm. in the worst case, we're going to head out to Isla Mujeres, okay. our favorite island. Okay. Yeah. We have to cross the shallows. Um, yeah. Take a look at our episode there, right, right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay! Success! I didn't on you. It's about 10 o'clock at night and the dogs bark over at the island and a possible sign that there's gonna be turtles so I'm gonna go in and uh, see I got to the island I'm gonna look around A turtle went in here. Yeah, this is definitely where a turtle went. But it probably just turned around and back into the water. Made it through here. Back out. Well, it's unsuccessful. <laughs> Now 
All right, this is our last day in paradise, uh, Ranguana, and the uh, storms have been coming in and coming out pretty much through the night. So we're gonna hop off. It's called, there's like a lime key and a few other keys. And from there, we will head to Guatemala uh, through the night. We have to be in Guatemala or at least Livingston by 7 a.m. tomorrow, and it's uh, about 37 miles, nautic miles from uh, the lower islands. Uh, that's gonna be seven hours or so. So we're gonna take off probably at 11 o'clock tonight. You're feeling a little anxious, right? Nauseous. If I have to stand uh, for a while, then yes. I'm just gonna close this right here, just in case it rains. Let's go. See that? Yeah. It's like yeah. fins wow. and and then it goes all the way, all the way up there, around and then back the other side. <laughs> this used to be sand all the way past the pier. Wow. This is where the turtles hatch. Yeah. At least the turtle knows how far to go. All this got washed off, there was sand all the way out to the front and all the way there. The sea turtles come here every day now, even during the day, to lay eggs. It's amazing. They said they have around 10 to 12 um, nests. So that is pretty incredible. This is one of the sea turtle nests. That's how they mark it. So you go and chop off about right here. Right. You start from the bottom and yeah. then you go up. No, you just stay right one spotlight right here. Right here. But wait. Just watch your finger though. Is that right? Yeah, just chop one it more. Down. Super. Actually soft. <laughs> Goodbye, Ranguana. You've been so good to us. We have coconut water. So I guess we're ready to go. How do you feel, mister? Uh, I feel good. The wind should change. You have some, some tickles in your stomach, some butterflies? Uh, I have some butterflies because... Today is easy. Tonight are, is gonna be worse. There are a few things that... Uh, are gonna happen. We are gonna sail overnight, which I've never done. There are squalls in the night. Thank you for following our voyage. Please subscribe to our channel for more adventures. Yeah, we just pray that everything goes right. Um, you know, uh, that uh, we have to cross the shallows, we have to uh, get the authorities to come and check us. Um, they will do a test or they will measure our temperature, so many things have to go right. And as we know, on the boat, usually uh, many things don't go right, or not everything goes right, so we're used to it, but uh, fingers crossed.